What is something perfectly legal that feels illegal? Turning on the lights in the car while driving at night. The biggest adulthood plot twist was discovering an entire generation had been convinced it was illegal. In a surprising amount of US states, you can have relations with someone aged 16. I always thought it was 18. Ordering weed of a government website and smoking it in Canada. It's illegal to buy from a guy on the corner, but okay from the government. And growing weed in your backyard. Absolutely nuts. Taking a shower while someone else is asleep and accidentally dropping one of the soap bottles. That ship is far louder than if you were home alone or if everyone was awake. When you get a craving for cake in the middle of the night and try to open that damned plastic container and suddenly the whole damn neighborhood is awake and knows your shame. Finishing the ice cream. After getting out of the army, US, calling everyone at work by their first names or using an umbrella. Taking a ship ton of samples and then buying nothing. Riding the elevator facing backwards. Walking on the middle of an asphalt road with no cars around. Makes me feel like a teenage movie rebel. First drive after getting a driver's license. Smoking weed. In my state. Growing up when it was illegal. I have a Pavlovian paranoia built into the smell of burning cannabis. Owning a flamethrower is legal in 48 states. California and Maryland require licensing. Every time I check marker box saying under penalty of perjury. I certify everything above is true. Showering in your socks. Taking something into a store like Lowe's or Home Depot to make sure you can find the correct adapter or connection. Then walking out with it and not paying for anything after not finding the correct connector. Walking naked from the bathroom to the kitchen to the bedroom and the am. Walking through a metal detector always puts me on edge. Feel like out of nowhere I'm suddenly concealing a weapon. Taking money from a take a penny leave a penny tray. It's there for a purpose. But it would feel like I'm taking money that belongs to someone else if I did so. Waiting for someone on the street when there's a cop around. When the hospital billed me for my 38 hour stay to the tune of $97,000. Taking your first newborn home from the hospital with no prior training or experience. Walking underneath the nothing to declare sign at customs, even though you literally don't have anything to declare. Edit, obligatory thanks for the gold, kind stranger. This happens to be my first rodeo. Leaving a store without having bought anything. Paying lots of money to get a politician to do what you want them to do. Buying alcohol for the first few months after turning 21. Stealing a balloon on free balloon day. Cereal with water. As a pet sitter for pets in my complex. Even though people give me their key to get into their house. It still feels really weird entering someone's house. Especially when I don't know them all that well. Quick tangent. One time. While leaving the person's house and locking the door behind me. A neighbor approached me at the end of the driveway and started talking to me. They were trying to be subtle. But it was clearly obvious that they thought I'd stolen something. Even after I showed them the key that the owners had given me and reassuring them that I was only there to feed the cat, I could still feel them watching me as I walked back to my place. Edit. Oh are laughing awesome. Okay. I posted this yesterday and you brought my point count from 938 to over 5000 overnight. Thanks. Working in advertising. I find how much info I can collect on a specific individual is super creepy. As a general note. Just don't sign up for newsletters. The stuff you unknowingly give companies on yourself is scary. Feels so creepy. Just your email and full name is enough for people to know your whole life if they put that stuff into FB or other networks. Turning left at a red light from a one-way street to another one-way street. Edit. For those asking or confused. I live in Ontario, Canada. Collecting dead rats in the tunnels of the local sewage system and tying their tails together into a wreath. Sometimes this procedure brings them back to life. Creating a cursed superorganism. I know there are no explicit laws against it, but I feel like God frowns upon it. Driving in front of an ambulance. Edit. I mend one without the lights on. Leaving your house in sweet pants with no intention of working out. 
driving at night with the dome light on in the car. Selling subprime mortgages to people who absolutely cannot afford them and back-end bundling them as investment funds to wrestle to investors. Betting they will fail and taking out insurance against that failure with the purpose of getting rich off the insurance while all the investors in those funds go broke. The housing economy bursts and the entire global economy suffers. It happened. We bailed out the banks. America lost its shirt and not one move has been made to make this fully unethical practice illegal. Driving when near a cop. Eating popcorn with sushi at 4am. Unpaid internships. It's basically slavery if you don't get any connections from it. It's been years since I was in mandatory education. Yet I still feel weird being out in town during the day on a school day.